This is a fun little question about pie charts. We're asked a problem solving question here. If there's a pie chart representing the proportion of sales made in each of these three markets, one, two, three, what would be the angle of the section representing market three? So this is the important one we want to look at. Just organizing in my mind though, before I do the calculations to work this out, I just need to remember what a pie chart is. Okay, that's, it's a circle, isn't it, that represents our data. And from one side all the way around to it, do you remember how many degrees there are in it? What's the angle all the way around in a circle? Haha, <laughs> yes, it's 360 degrees, isn't it, all the way around? If we went all the way around it, let's say, let's say there were only two markets, each one half and half. Well, one would be 180 degrees, as would the other. So I need to fit these three figures into a pie chart to work out what how many degrees they would be and the secret here the key to this is knowing that a full pie chart is 360 degrees and therefore this figure here of 300,000 well that is 360 degrees so I need to work out what proportion each of these markets is out of the total of 300,000 to work out what proportion they are of 360 degrees. Let's start with market three because that's what the question is asking. So market three, it's got sales of $51,000 out of the total of $300,000. When I put that 300, that 51,000 divided by 300,000 into my calculator, it comes out at 0.17 or 17%, which means that market three makes up 17% of the total sales. Now, what I need to do to turn that into a degrees for the pie chart is take my 17% and apply it to the 360 degree, degree total. 0.17 times 360 degrees comes out at 61.2 degrees. Great. So that is the second option, isn't it? This, this option here, 61 degrees. Now, I could just plug for that answer straight away. But if I've got time in the exam, what I quite like to do is to double check that my answer is correct. And I can do that here by working out the degrees for market one and for market two as well and by getting those two and then adding it to 61.2 degrees it should come back to the total of 360 and give me a nice little confirmation that i've got this right so doing exactly the same calculations taking the sales total for each of the markets so 149,000 for market two and 100,000 for market one and working out what they are as a percentage of the total sales and then applying that to 360 degrees I get to these figures for uh, market two and market one 178.9 and 119.8 and then what my double check is to add these three numbers together 61.2 and 119.88. Does it work? Absolutely, yes it does. Those three added together come back to 360 degrees. And so I'm very happy, very content that the second option is the correct answer here. Not only did I prove, did I get, get it right with my first calculation here on market three, I then proved it with a little double check with the other two markets to come back to a total.